Now we are going to do an exercise. I want you to build this screen. Take a look again at the screen and think how you can build this with the component that we have just learned, with a relative layout, a linear layout, and the attributes like margin, padding, height, and width. So I'm going to give you a tip on how to build it. Let's start with the bottom. This can be a linear layout with three childs inside it. Every button will be a child. Note that every button will have a padding or a margin, which is the space between them. This linear layout with the three button, it has to be centered on the screen and it cannot take on the screen. So it has to be the size of it. It has to be wrap content, has to be adjusted to the height of the buttons and it has to be centered on the screen. That means that it has to be inside of a relative layout. And this relative layout, which will be the parent, will take the whole screen. Now we also need a text view, which can be on the main relative layout, aligned to the top. And finally, we will have to set a gradient to the background of the relative layout. This one is a bit of a challenge. I will recommend you to take a look at Stack Overflow to find a solution. Okay, I'm going to leave you some time. I'm going to leave the screen here so you can pause the video and try to do it yourself. I'm going to remove all of this thing that I did before. I just have a relative layout. So I'm going to start creating a linear layout. And it's going to have three buttons inside. I'm going to do this quickly. Okay, three buttons inside. Now, this has to be centered. So for this, I'm going to set the width to wrap content of the linear layout. So it's going to take the width and the, and the height of the, all the buttons. So they are going to be here. I'm going to space them a bit more. So in the margin, I am just interested on in the margin of the bottom. I'm just going to add a margin of 10 pixels. Okay, I'm using pixels because pixel is a concept that you probably know, but on Android, Instead of pixel, we are going to use from now on dp, which is density independent pixel. So that means that independently of the density of the screen, this is going to have the same sp space. Okay, what is the next step? The next step is going to be our text view. So it's just a mm, large text view. It doesn't matter, it's just a text view at the end. So it's going to be here. I'm going to add a bit of a margin at the top of the text view. So like 20. Okay, now I'm going to increase the size of this. On text size, I'm going to specify 40 dp. The next thing that we have to change is the color. So we can change the text color here. As you know, in programming, the colors can be represented by RRGGTB, which is a, com a combination of colors. So I can just create a random color here to show you how to change it. But if you want to find a good color source, you can use this website, colorx.com, and you can have here the code, for, the code for some colors, but you can also choose your custom color here. I'm going to choose this green, okay, and I'm going to copy the color here. Okay, right now, as we saw in the previous lesson, I just have the color here, but what I want to do is create a values for the colors. So I'm going to create a new XML with values called color, and I'm going to save that color here. So I can use that color in more place on my application. So I'm going to create a new color 
and the name is going to be uh, green main because it's the green used on the main screen and it's going to be this one. Okay, so now I'm just going to change the reference here to a color. I can come here to the project resource and I can choose my green main. Okay, so this is pointing now to my reference on the colors. Okay, so the last thing that we need to do is add a gradient to this background to the relative layout we are going to add a, a gradient. So for example in the background I can I could add a color or an image, a drawable, but in this case I'm going to create a drawable which is going to be a shape. A shape can be defined on an XML and can be defined with a background color or a gradient. I'm going to show you how to change the color of the background but what we really want here is a drawable. So Let's create a folder drawable by default and let's create here a new file XML and this is going to be a gradient background XML. A shape is a thing that you don't do too often so it's better to remember how to create a shape properly so if you go to Android Drawable Resource, you can see all the resources that you create on Drawable. And if you click on Shape Drawable, this is going to tell you the syntax. So you can see all the properties that the shape can here. And here you have example. For example, you can create a rectangle, line, ring. And at the end, you have an, an example. So I'm going to copy this example. Okay, and I'm going to remove the thing that I don't want, like for example, corner or padding. I'm just interested in a gradient. Okay, so I am just going to change the start color at the end color. If I go to my colors again, I'm going to create a white color, which can be FF, FF, FF. That can be, that can be my start color. And my end color can be the green one. And the angle is going to be 90 degrees. Okay, it's the other way around. So I change the white color at the bottom and the green color at the top. Okay, so this is how we want the design. Now we have just created a shape, which is a rectangle, and the shape has the tag gradient in a 90 degree from up to down starting on finishing on white and starting on green okay so if we come back to our view and at the, at the background here now we set a drawable or drawable gradient background this will set the background color at the advantage of doing it with a drawable created by code is that we don't need any image that will use megabytes on, on an application and it won't depend on any density. This will look like this for tablets or any screen. If we look at the preview on our screen size, we can see that the gradient is perfectly applied to all kinds of screens. Okay, so to finish, we just need to set the text on the bottom. So the first button is going to be single player. Second button is going to be multiplayer. Multiplayer. And the third one is going to be scores. Again, I am setting the text here, hard code when it should be on values. But at the moment we are just going to do the application in one language. So we are not going to have the strings yet on values. Okay, I'm just going to center this button. If we look at the property center, I can send it horizontal. And here it looks a bit better. Okay, so feel free to change the color, feel free to change the, the background, 
everything that you want.